Good morning. Sorry, I was a few minutes late. I was having some technical difficulties. I am Laura. I'm the owner of Rustic Scoop, and we are thrilled to partner every month with the Food and Meat Co-op to provide you with um, gluten-free, top eight, allergen-free, refined sugar-free cake mixes. And we are gonna teach you today how to make resurrection rolls. And I'm gonna go over here really fast and turn off my sound so I can't hear myself talking back and forth. So we are super excited to show you how to make resurrection rolls. It's just in time for Easter. So happy Easter and happy Passover today to people that celebrate as well. So I'm gonna first show you the mixes that we sell. If you don't know, um, we have a sandwich bread mix. This is um, what we are gonna use today. And I will tell you more about this, but this one is actually gluten-free and top nine allergen-free. The two of our mixes that um, are only top eight allergen-free have coconut sugar. This does not have coconut sugar. And then we also have a pancake and waffle mix. This one does have coconut sugar, so it's only top eight free, um, but delicious nonetheless. And then we have a chocolate cake and cupcake mix. And this one also has coconut sugar. We don't use any cane sugar in any of our mixes. And then last but not least, I actually unfortunately ran out of pizza crust mix. So we are doing a run of pizza crust mix today, but I can't show it to you sadly, um, because it goes off the shelf super fast, and so I don't have one, but I will have them back, back in stock later today. Uh, we try to keep up on our stock as best as we can. Um, we do all of our manufacturing in-house. So if you want to buy all four of our mixes, it is called a sampler, and you just put sold 100 in the comment box, and it will be yours. So we're going to start out today, and you will have um, this recipe it comes along with a cute photo of the resurrection rolls that we're gonna make. It will be up on the blog later today. Um, and so we're gonna get started just to show you how quick and easy it is to make these rolls. So you're gonna start out with our sandwich bread mix, of course. And then inside of our sandwich bread mix, there is extra psyllium husk. We've updated our sandwich bread mix and um, it includes the added but we put this in your order when you get it. And so we are gonna open this. We're gonna dump it in our mixer. I'm using a stand mixer. I actually did this by hand this morning so I can show you what they look like. So you can do it by hand in a bowl if you want. It just requires a lot of like really vigorous stirring. If you have questions, please let me know. I will do my best to keep track of um, comments. I'm not always super good at multitasking. If I don't answer your question um, while I'm talking, I will go through and I will type the responses at the end. So thank you for interacting with us. I can see that you're there, and which is great because I don't love talking to myself. Okay, so we're just gonna add the psyllium husk in here. And while I mix, I'm going to heat up my milk. So hang on just a second. I'm just microwaving it so it's warm so it will rise well so now you're gonna add in one tablespoon of yeast if you don't use yeast regularly I suggest that when your milk is warm that you put your yeast in your milk for five minutes and let it get bubbly just so you know that it is active if it does not get bubbly and foamy on the top from the yeast it is not alive and you want to start over again but I use yeast almost daily and so I know mine works so I just stick it in with the dry. If you're in my boat and you use it and you know it's um, good yeast, go ahead and just stick it in your dry mix. And then we're gonna add one tablespoon of sweetener. Again, we don't use cane sugar, so I'm using coconut sugar. You could use honey or you could use maple syrup or cane sugar. Um, whatever floats your boat is totally fine with us. Yeast isn't picky. The point of it is to help the yeast be active and start to feed on it so your rolls will rise. I'm just going to mix this for a moment so all the dry ingredients are mixed well together. So I have one and three quarters uh, cup of coconut milk. 
that's what we use. We don't, we're dairy free in our house. And so you can use whatever milk works for you. If you can have dairy milk, go ahead and use dairy milk. If you can't do coconut, you do rice or almond or hemp or whatever. Whatever works for you is totally fine. It's not picky. It just needs to be um, warm, but not hot. I do it for about one minute in my microwave. I also added the butter that is called for, so it is melty as well. So we are going to now add that in here. Sloshing around. Okay. So these are super easy and super yummy. Even if you don't celebrate Easter, I know not everybody does, but um, even if you don't, they're super good and I would highly suggest making them anyways. I will tell you the whole point of making them when we're actually making them, well, rolling them. I will tell you the story that goes behind it. And so it's also in the blog post. So if you wanna make it with your kids, it's a great way to explain the story of Easter to kids. My kids loved it, they had no idea. Although I've made these in the past with them, they just forgot, so it's always good as a reminder. want to make sure that it gets really well mixed. At first it's going to seem really sloppy, um, but trust me, it thickens up with the psyllium husk is what makes it get thicker, but it does take a bit. That's why you can do it with a spoon if you need to do it with a spoon because you don't have um, a stand mixer. And then we also add some white vinegar. You could also do apple cider vinegar. If you can't do white vinegar, or you don't have any. You could also do lemon juice. Um, it's just the acid that you're looking for. So whichever one works for you is totally fine. Now we're gonna keep mixing and then I'll show you what it looks like so you know what the dough is supposed to look like. You wanna scrape down the sides. what this looks like after I scrape. So you can see it's thick, right? It was sloppy, now it's thick, um, but it should not be dry. Um, most of us that are watching, you live in Utah, um, it is dry here. So if you need to add an extra tablespoon or two, that's fine, don't add more than that, you won't need it. But certainly start with um, the recommended amount. For people that do not live in Utah, um, if you live in dry climate, again, you might need a tablespoon or two extra, but always start with what we write in the recipe. And we try to give you as many tips as we can on our website under all of our product pages. Um, if you need alternative added ingredients, um, you can do, you can find them there. It tells you all about them and which ones are best. And you know what? I forgot to add eggs. So egg whites. I'm very particular and specific on what kind of eggs we use. Generally, we use egg whites. I just did a post on why. If you care, go scroll a few down on our blog. It tells you about eggs and different tips for baking. So if you cannot have eggs, the recipe does tell you um, egg alternatives. We also use aquafaba, which is the water from a can of garbanzo beans or chickpeas, whichever you call them, they're the same thing. I know that people um, call them different things for whatever reason. I think I asked a poll on Instagram once and it was a difference between West Coast and East Coast. So they are the same thing. Or you can do a dry powdered egg replacer if you need to do that as well. Again, it's in the recipe, it will be on the blog for you. I'm gonna mix up my eggs. Then you want to scrape down. Okay, now it's fully combined. Now you're going to see it's stickier, but I am going to melt butter that we are going to start doing our rolls with. And you're going to think that I'm crazy that this sloppy mess is actually going to make rolls. I promise it will. 
So bear with me, stick with me. Um, I'm gonna microwave our butter while this thickens, because it does need a few minutes to thicken. So while my butter is um, melting, you also want to make a cinnamon and sugar mix. It is a one to four ratio. Uh, so one of cinnamon and four of any kind of sugar. So you can do cane sugar or coconut sugar. Again, we do coconut sugar and it is a quarter cup of um, coconut sugar and one tablespoon of cinnamon. So I already mixed it. And here is my melted butter. We use vegan butter, butter because again, we don't have dairy, we don't use dairy in our house um, for allergy purposes. There are lots of great options for vegan butter. We use Earth Balance if you're also soy free. Um, they have a red tub that is soy free. Their yellow tubs are not soy free. So just keep that in mind if you need a vegan or dairy free butter. Okay, so you can see what this looks like right now. It's thickening up, but still probably not quite ready to be rolled, which is fine. Um, I'm gonna move my mixer out of the way here. And while these do have a couple of steps to make them, they're super easy as you can see, but it's great for telling the story of Easter. Whether you do that with adults or you do that with children, it doesn't matter. I just think it's super fun um, and just such a great way to tell the Easter story. I'm a visual hands-on learner and so this is just right up my alley. So you're gonna wanna scoop. Um, I use a large scoop. It's approximately a third of a cup. Um, and I just am going to drop balls like that on parchment paper lined baking sheet. And I'm not gonna do all of them because it'll take too much time. But you're just gonna put all 12. This recipe makes 12 rolls. And you're gonna just continue to scoop and roll. And then um, I'll make the rest of these later. But I want to be able to show you and tell you the story of Easter, if you don't mind. Okay, so you have your dough. Again, it's a little sticky at this point, but you have other things to do too. So the representation, you use a marshmallow. Now, if you can't have, uh, if you're vegan, Dandies has, I believe they're vegan marshmallow, or you don't want to use these because you don't like them. These are just regular marshmallows. Um, Dandies makes a great allergen friendly uh, marshmallow. And then I also have a marshmallow recipe on our blog. You can just type in marshmallow at the top of our website in the search box. And I have a marshmallow recipe for you there. Um, they're refined sugar free, um, vegan, all the whole nine yards. Anyways. So if you wanna make your own, they're really easy and you can, but for simplicity, I'm just using a store-bought one. And so this, um, the marshmallow represents Jesus and it's white, like he was pure, um, sinless, not stained, not blemished. And so the, um, the marshmallow represents Jesus in our little food experiment here. And then we will in a moment take, this is butter and you will dip the butter in the, the marshmallow and the butter. And it is how, um, after Jesus died, they anointed his body with oil. So the butter represents the oil. And then after you dip in the butter, you're gonna roll Jesus or your marshmallow um, covered with butter or anointing oil. And then you're gonna roll it in um, the cinnamon and sugar, which represents the spices that they also put on his body before they buried him. And then the dough here, see it's getting, it's a better consistency now. Um, but the dough represents the, um, the cloth that they wrapped Jesus's body in. And so we'll show you, super cute. So you just wanna flatten with your hand. You can see you want it a little thicker here in the middle um, because when you're gonna pull the edges up to the top and if, um, that it's too thick on the edges, 
Then you're gonna have a really thick um, dough on the top. Well, it really will become the bottom. But so you just want it a little bit thicker here in the middle. I'll show you. So, and if you want the story um, of Jesus, it's also in the blog post, but you can find it in the book of Luke in the Bible. Um, the verses and all that stuff is there for you. Um, and it tells a story and you can tell the story as you make the rolls with your family or your loved ones if you choose to do so. Okay, so we're gonna take the marshmallow. Again, do his body. We're gonna anoint it with oil, butter, and you don't want it super drippy. And then we're going to dip marshmallow or Jesus' body in spices because that's what they did back in those times um, to bodies before burial. And then you're gonna stick it in the middle and you are gonna pull up the sides gently to cover because they wrapped Jesus' body once he had died in cloth. So that's again what they did back in those times with bodies um, after they died. So he's all wrapped in cloth. And then, so we're gonna do that to all of them. And then when you put the, um, all of your rolls, you're gonna let them rise for a half hour because again, they do have yeast. Um, you are going to put it in the oven, which is like Jesus being in the grave uh, for three days and then um, I'm gonna set this aside. But again, you're gonna do that to all of them. I don't need to bore you and show you how to do all of them, but they're very simple. And then Jesus resurrected, right? He came back to life after he died three days later. And so when um, Mary and Martha went to go um, to the tomb, because they were so sad and they were weeping, the stone had been rolled away and the grave was empty. And so remember we put Jesus or the marshmallow in the, um, in the cloth. And then once you bake them, Jesus isn't there anymore. Um, so it's a great depiction of Easter. Again, if you celebrate Easter, if not, they're just amazing rolls. So it's like an empty tomb or resurrection roll. You can call them both things. And so um, it's just a beautiful depiction of when Martha and Mary went to go find Jesus and he wasn't there anymore because he was alive. Um, and so super cute, super fun. And um, they're delicious. When I made these a couple weeks ago to write the recipe, my kids could not get enough. They were like, yum, they're so good. Um, you can also drizzle these with the remaining, the outside once they're done with the remaining butter. You can also sprinkle them with powdered sugar if you would like to. Um, it's totally up to you. There, it's not necessary, but um, you certainly can do that. And so I'm going to scroll over here and see if there are any comments really fast or any questions. And I'm gonna wash my hands really fast. Um, I always forget, I really should have a wet rag because I get my hands dirty every time I do this. So maybe one day I'll learn. Um, so let me, again, if you want to buy all four of our mixes, it's called a sampler. You just put sold 100 in the comment box here. And let me see. Oh, so the blog, um, somebody asked on the app, what is the blog? The, um, the, um, the food and meat co-op has a blog themselves. And so the recipe will go up on their blog. Um, it has lots of recipes and other information. Um, the recipe again will get added to the blog later today. It's not up there quite yet. That's my bad. I normally get them uh, recipes sooner, um, but I did not have time this week. It's been a busy week. I've been in a conference all week. Okay, let's see if there's any over here on Facebook. Sometimes I have a hard time finding myself here on Facebook, but um, again, if you have questions, let me know. I'm happy to answer them. Um, if I miss them, I will get to them after we're done, which we're almost done. 
Um, I don't even see. I think there's some stuff pinned at the top, so I'm trying to scroll. Um, and I'm unsuccessful, sorry. Um, so anyways, you will need, um, again, this makes 12 rolls um, and they're easy to see. Now the dough is very easy and pliable. It should not be sticky, um, but it should be nice and soft. Thank you, Teresa. I'm so glad that you loved watching it. Um, it is super neat. It's a, um, it's a super neat way just to tell the story of Easter um, if you want to do that and if you enjoy doing that. Um, which we do um, in our family. So they, my kids thought it was really um, cool and it's just a great visual example. And, um, and of course, the reason we celebrate is because the grave is empty. Um, so super fun. Thank you for joining us. Um, this will be posted um, on their YouTube channel as well, the live, and it will remain up on Facebook. And so um, you can always go back and watch it or send other people to watch it if you want other people to watch it. Again, we're super thankful. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to you making these yourself.